guys so we're here with mr tete mr tete yeah. is our client he is you know checking out his building right here that is his building this is his building right our here face too. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell me a little bit about the property you're putting out uh so as he said um this is phase two mm -hmm. um of the great city a uh, great area if you can get a view of the area yes. it's um it's a wonderful place yeah it's um much cooler and uh so far, so good. Yeah. So far, so good. What kind of property are you putting out? Uh, it's a two-story building. Okay. Um, what's the name of the plan, if I don't mind? <laughs> it's actually ground floor, first floor, with a rooftop. That's what he's doing. Okay, right. that's lovely. And, uh, we designed um, for him. Okay. Exactly. exactly. So we yeah. know exactly what is happening. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, but I, I just want a few things from you. Right. Since you started building, have you had any issues with land guards? No, no, absolutely not. Uh, great city, thanks to Dan and team. Mm -hmm. uh, they have uh, 24 our security yeah. here um i have contact with both on both night um, night and day shift okay um they always call me making sure my materials that mm -hmm. i leave on ground the security right. people in exactly. yeah, constant um, communication constant, with them constant. to make sure that everything is Abs absolutely when uh, when my guys started they called me to make sure they're um, uh, you know they're authorized mm -hmm. to uh, move and yeah. So far, so good. It's been an awesome experience. Do you enjoy having this relationship or partnership with Royal Kingdom Estates? Absolutely. It's been um, very different from every other um, experience I've had as far as, far as our land development. Yeah. You know, it's, it's so many different things, mm -hmm. the politics that goes on in the background. But um, for this, um, Dan and team ha have absorbed all the other stuff yeah. um, that goes on as you as you as, as you were saying you know like you know like you know they just came started building no issue whatsoever and, I see. Um, that's yeah. amazing we like that the process has been smooth for you and mm -hmm. we are able to you know provide you great services so we have lands in a couple of spots we have the view mm -hmm. this is uh, Grace city we have black star village what made you purchase your property here at phase two i believe it's the location okay it's the location i mean you came from a car right mm -hmm. Uh, it's the the breeze here is much cooler it's so different it's, right <laughs> when i'm in Accra, i feel like my skin is burning mm -hmm. um but it's much cooler here i love the view um and it's just much quieter um yeah. yeah so i think with time you know already as you can see the the um the roads here yeah. uh, uh already mm -hmm. um under construction, under construction. Yeah. and i think you know within time you know we, we are working on bringing electricity and mm -hmm. all other um factors and, and yeah. let me emphasize that we work on the road right Right. Royal Kingdom right. they did everything. It right. looks really good. Yeah, right. And I can't wait to see, you know, the properties that you guys will put up here. Right. Um, I keep saying within a few months, this place will be unrecognizable. I believe so. I believe so. I believe um, all, so far, um, everybody that's um, purchased there is yeah. very serious about building. And the good thing about the Royal Kingdom Estate is everybody's... Um, on 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 par yeah. as far as like the building and how we want to raise the community yeah so um with you know dan and team um they are giving us you know the guidance and the parameters yeah. um thanks to desmond and others you know they yeah. are constantly checking and making sure that um people are doing the right thing yeah. um you know as the building uh I, I didn't know that was the building that uh okay. was it was discussed yeah. but um you know that that's great that's great. You and, know, and, and, and let me let me emphasize that 
that building that um, is actually uh, collapsing what mm -hmm. happened was um, we came in right from the beginning like yeah. we are saying uh, your building as right. well we advise they didn't take it mm -hmm. so as we speak now the client has equally seen but well, they have come here to repair it once they didn't do the right thing mm -hmm. so yeah. it has gone down right. again okay. now we are taking over to be able to ensure that the right things are done yeah. so Absolutely. we are going to collapse portions of the building ensure that we are now going to build from scratch yeah. and, mm -hmm. ensure, and we are going to be showing the videos for people to get to know that we are actually doing the right thing yeah. and we want the right thing to be done yeah and for those of you who are not in the country our uh what 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 we pride in is where you come down yeah you see your building and you're happy that's right. one of the things that we are looking at out for so even when you are here or not we use the virtual means and we are happy that you are here seeing to your project and we are also here what we are doing for him today mm -hmm. is to check on his project check what is happening because he is not a builder yeah. right. so if there are any issues with this building, he might not even know yeah. you see the blocks flying he's happy he doesn't even know <laughs> what is happening mm. so we come we in here to advise exactly to mm. advise yeah. and then once we advise we also explain to the client mm -hmm. what is happening with what we're doing yeah. right. and then we all move from there that's how it's it's progressive right yeah. so for most of the projects that we are not even the ones um spearing the project mm -hmm. we still come we still advise, we yeah. still show them what to do, yeah. we are good to go. It's a community we are all building together mm -hmm. and we must all ensure we do it and then we get better with time. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Are you satisfied with the services from Royal Kingdom Estate? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Um, like I said, um, it's, it's a team effort. Yeah. So, um, you know, so far everything that I've, I've, I've asked for has been um, Given done. To so okay. um, I've, I've solicited some um, some services from the Royal Kingdom, like my drawing plan mm -hmm. and um, as far as the land preparation and everything. Yeah. As gone. So um, the as far as like from building to finish, um, I, I believe, you know, Royal Kingdom has something for everybody. So absolutely. Normally, the concrete here, if it's supposed to be a step up, like what is happening there, it's supposed to be six, six, that's one foot or more. And if you don't do that, you would always have a problem. So what I come in to do is to advise. You take it fine, you don't take it, you have the after effect, and then we all come back, we all solve it, we all go. But again, we are only advised. I'm not here to tell you I know more than you. Uh -huh. So if you can, please, at this stage, if you are doing down below or down below, we call it basement. If are, uh, so down if you're calling it down below or down <laughs> below or whatever, the right thing to do, do it now. Uh, so you should have taken your, you should have brought the surveyors, you have given you the various reduced levels. I'm showing you how some of these things are done, it's very easy. The surveyors will give you the various reduced levels when you start with your foundation. Then when they give you the various reduced levels, they'll tell you at what point the down below is going to be, where you should cut everything. The surveyors will give you all the marks. That's what the road people do. So you know when to cast, when to add blocks on top, when to continue, and you are good to go. What we are trying to do is to build great city. And we need all of you to be able to build it with us. But don't forget that people who build on slopey sites, there is a lot that has to go on. You have to check your levels. You have to be able to check whether you are doing cut and fill. There are various methodologies you have to employ to be able to build such places. If you don't do and you skip one, you always have a problem. And like the Bible says, when the foundation is weak, what happens? So you know it already. Uh -huh. So at least your plan itself is telling you that <laughs> the concrete bed is supposed to lie or rest on the block wall. So if you can do that, but if you don't want to do that too, like I said today, I watch you because I know some of you say, oh, uh, we are going to do the flow. The pillars are there. The pillars are strong. They'll be able to hold it. No problem. But it will get to a point where I'll come in again. And then we will all see where we are. So now is a time where you can be able to stop the block works. Mm -hmm. Do the necessary things that you have to do. Then you continue. That's why some people even do German concrete. Okay. Just to be able to support them to move faster. Yeah. The German uh -huh. concrete is better. No, it's not really better, better, but it's it's able to hasten. This is better. It's better, yes. Okay. It's better to have the German concrete compared to just laying blocks without any okay. concrete in between them. And like I said, because of the nature of the place too, you mm. need a beam. And if you don't do the beam, what you are seeing here will happen. And when it happens, Rack and Number State will be called upon because we are overseeing to everything that is going on over here. 
Well guys, you've heard it. So join the family now. You don't have to wait till later. The time is now. We will be flooding you with more videos and more information. So stay glued to the channel. Do subscribe, like, share the video. We'll see you guys very soon. Thank you. Thank you.